I promise. You do a little bit of the five tips, you're gonna see a dramatic change over the coming months and years. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillar with Live Anabolic, and today I wanna to talk to you about something that's really important to me, and that is how to stop age-related muscle loss. All right, so guys, it's not just about vanity, although I think that gets underplayed sometimes. I mean, it's important to feel good about yourself and what you look like. So that's not really just a vanity thing. It's kind of a, it can be a self-esteem thing, all right? So as we get older, we just naturally lose muscle for lots of different reasons. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to avoid that and turn that around. Because promise, guys, it is doable. You can put on muscle and stop this age-related process, all right? We're all gonna get older, but we don't have to become scrawny and chubby at the same time, right? So when we lose muscle, it affects all kinds of things. Life, quality of life issues, okay? So it could be something that's is just straightforward as you're having low libido, you know, just no sex drive. It could be low energy, all right? Um, it could just be not being able to physically do the things that you need to do on just a regular day-to-day -day basis, all right? You might just be getting kind of feeble. You might be losing your balance, all right? You might just not feel strong enough to just do basic things like lift heavy luggage, mow the lawn, anything like that. So, guys, we need to figure out a way to stop this process, or at least, at the very minimum, slow it down as much as humanly possible. So I got five tips I wanna talk about today, and I promise you're gonna love all of them, and if you just kind of implement each one of them, you don't even have to go 100% on each tip, I promise. You do a little bit of the five tips, you're gonna see a dramatic change over the coming months and years. All right, guys, so, Tip number one, and this is the most important one, all right? So if you follow all the other tips, but don't do tip number one, you're not gonna see success. So the very first thing you have to do, you have to do, guys, you have to do resistance training. Um, that can be weightlifting, it can be using bands or cables or machines, it doesn't matter. You have to force your muscles to lift heavy things. It could be your body weight, I don't care. But you have to do resistance training. And I'm not talking about cardio. I'm talking about good old fashioned bodybuilding type resistance training. Because guys, basically the old saying, you know, use it or lose it is true. And it applies to muscle more than probably any other thing with regard to our, our physiques, our bodies. So guys, you got to do resistance training, which means you, you really need a program, all right? Um, it's one thing, some of you guys have got some dumbbells, every single morning you get up, you do some curls, you do some push-ups, you might do a few squats, and then you're out the door, okay? And you do the same thing every day, you're not pushing yourself real hard. Well, that is resistance training with air quotes, right? You really need a comprehensive program that steps you through all the muscle groups in your body is designed to do certain things, different exercises in a certain way, different muscle groups, different times of the week. It's all well thought up. Anyway, guys, find something that you like, a program, a professionally designed program designed for older guys like me, and then stick with it. You have to do resistance training because that is the only way to stop age-related muscle loss. Okay, tip number two. This is easier, I think, than tip number one, <clears throat> which requires a lot more time and effort. But tip number two is you have to eat plenty of protein. So why is that important? Well, guess what? You do all that resistance training I talked about just a minute ago. That's fantastic and you will build muscle even if you don't eat enough protein. But why waste all that effort all right, all that energy, all that pain and suffering, lifting heavy weights if you're not gonna get the most out of it, right? So instead of getting 50% out of your workouts because you're not eating enough protein, you might as well get 100% of the potential muscle growth. And the only way to do that is to get plenty of protein. So guys, when you do the resistance training, we're actually damaging our muscles. That's the whole point. We're, we're, we're damaging millions of little muscle fibers. Well, your body has to 
repair that. Well, the only way it can repair those muscle fibers is with protein, right? So if you're not getting enough protein, then the muscles are not going to repair 100%. And of course, that's what we're looking for. We tear the muscles down during a workout, we repair them 100%, and your body's pretty smart. It actually makes those muscle fibers a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger every time it repairs them, especially if you give your body enough protein. So you do that over and over and over again, eventually your muscles get bigger and stronger. So guys, how much protein do you need to eat? It's not that hard. You need to eat about 0.5 grams to 0.7 grams of protein for each pound of body weight. So let's say you weigh 200 pounds, all right? Multiply that by 0.5 and you'll get 100 grams of protein. Multiply that by 0.7 and you get 140 grams of protein. So you need somewhere in that range, all right? It's a pretty big range. So, and I understand some days you might not quite get a half a gram of protein, all right, for each pound of body weight. It's okay. Some days you're gonna have a little more. It's just kind of the consistency, day in, day out, week after week is what really matters, guys. So you have to get plenty of protein. Otherwise, those workouts you're doing in tip number one are only gonna be partially effective. All right, you're gonna like this one, guys, because tip number three is the easiest of the five tips. You need to try a supplement, okay? So. Even with resistance training and getting plenty of protein, if your body has just naturally low testosterone levels, it's gonna be really hard to put on muscle or stop age-related muscle loss. So just give it a try, all right? Um, we have a product that I'm really proud of. It's called Anabolic Reload. Um, just click on the link below the video. There should be a, a hot link there. It'll take you to our website and it'll give you an in-depth description of what anabolic reload is all about all the ingredients in them what each ingredient is designed to do way way more than i could explain you know in a minute here in front of the camera so give it a try it's the easiest one it's just a couple of pills you take it every day all right and a ton of guys see fantastic results just from adding a supplement because they're doing everything else right you know they're doing the resistance training they're doing the you know getting plenty of protein but they're not seeing results and it, it might just be that you have just naturally low T levels, which is very common because as we get older, our body just naturally produces a little bit less testosterone every year, all right? And that, that's a cumulative effect. So it's between one and 2% less T than the year before. And guys, you know, after 20, 30 years, that can really add up. So give the supplement a try. It's no big deal. If it doesn't work for you, there is a small minority of guys that it just doesn't seem to do much for. That's okay. Just send us an email and we'll refund your money. So it's basically a no-brainer. There's, there's no risk on your part. So tip number three is the easiest of the five tips today. Just give it a try. All right, guys. Tip number four is probably... I would say the most difficult, okay, of all the tips. And even then, it's not that hard, guys, <laughs> all right? Tip number four is you have to move, all right? I got this same problem too. Man, so many of us, our jobs revolve around sitting at a desk in front of a computer, all right? Um, and so this sedentary lifestyle that we just naturally have just because of the way society works nowadays, is really really hurting us all right so you got to move and that that can be just about anything all right so get creative now some of you guys like to go on walks fantastic instead of taking a leisurely walk i would just kind of make it more of a power walk i mean force yourself to walk a little faster than you would naturally want to all right and you don't have to do long long distances guys i'm not talking about doing long boring cardio all right i'm, I'm kind of advised against that actually but make yourself move it could be mowing the lawn it could be you know riding a bike whether it might be a stationary bike you know at the gym or at home or it might be you know riding down the street with your bike um if you go to the gym or if you have an elliptical those are fantastic you don't need to get on there for an hour a day all right um, and then I really, really recommend HIT cardio, high intensity interval training. It's basically kind of a sprinter's mentality to doing cardio or moving, all right? So all of that stuff will really add up because you may not burn a thousand calories on your walk or your bike ride, but you might burn 
150, 200 calories, that's not much. But it adds up because we're talking about being consistent, doing this day in, day out, month after month. I promise you do that every day for a year, you're talking about many, many pounds of fat. They're gonna get burned off. And the less fat you have, the better your body is able to build muscle because there's enzymes in your fat that, that actually prevent muscle growth. It's, it's, a, it's kind of a long, complicated explanation. Of a, I've got other videos where I talk about it, but moving helps get rid of fat, which helps build muscle, and that's how to stop age-related muscle loss. All right, guys, tip number five is, is a pretty easy tip also, and that is you need sleep. So, so many of us just don't get enough sleep, and at our age, I think most of it is our own fault. You know, when you're in your 20s and 30s, maybe even 40s, and you're working crazy hours and you got lots of other, you know, responsibilities that you just can't get done during the day, you end up working, you know, late into the night maybe. And so that might be a reason why you just don't get enough sleep, just because of so much stuff that has to get done during the week. And maybe you have to wake up early to travel. Just It just kind of accumulates. But as we get older, most of us have got jobs that allow us to go to bed at a decent time at night. You know, we're not, you know, when you're 60 years old, you shouldn't typically be working until midnight at the house, right? So don't let stupid stuff like the TV or the computer or your phone keep you awake just because you're screwing around accomplishing nothing. So the reason sleep is so important is because when we're sleeping, that's when your body recharges. It fixes all the stuff that we screwed up during the day. So when you're sleeping, that's when you really accomplish a lot of the muscle growth, rebuilding, repairing those muscle fibers you tore down in tip number one, resistance training. Also when you sleep is when your body produces most of its hormones that we get throughout the day. So our testosterone levels are being produced while we're sleeping. But if you're not getting enough sleep, especially REM sleep, then all of those, those chemicals, those wonderful hormones that your body produces, you're not getting 100% of that day in and day out, I promise. Let me tell you, that really accumulates over time. So guys, really pay attention to how much sleep you're getting. You probably need really seven to eight hours a day. That's the vast majority of guys. I mean, I really need about eight hours. Uh, so please, just try it for a month and see if you feel a difference. And then finally, guys, you know, I still want you to click on the link below the video and just and see what you think about anabolic reload because tip number three was the easiest of the five tips. And then finally, all of these tips I'm talking about are not gonna help you if you just do them for a week or two or three. You really won't see any change. These are lifestyle changes you need to make and you need to make them month after month after month. Then, if you stick with it, you'll notice a huge difference in your physique, your energy levels, and everything else that goes along with it. So, the only way to accomplish that is to always stick with it and never give up on yourself.